It's Russell with Arkansas Drone Solutions. I am continuing my Phantom 4 multispectral experiences. I have flown a mission today and I am going to upload it into Terra. So the first thing I want to do is create a new mission, mapping, name the mission, and I will just say test, just to be quick about it. And then the first thing I want to do is go over here to reconstruction, click on it. I want to do a 2D multispectral map. I go up to my file folder and I save this one on the desktop under P4M new. It looks like there's no files in that folder, but they're, they are there. So I'm going to go ahead and select the folder. You can see down here that it is adding the photos, 2,040 photos that it took. I'm estimating it was around 20 acres. So we'll wait a minute as it adds the photos. It's pretty quick to go out and pull those down. All right, so you can see here that it did add the photos. I can change it to the, the field view. So you can see all the pictures it took of that field. So now we're ready to start reconstruction. We want to save a copy of the files. I'll hit continue. Now it is processing the photos. It's really quick. It's doing it online. It's not in the cloud in this version. Now it's importing the photos into the reconstruction. All right. We'll wait on that for just a minute. Now what I did is I took my SD card out of the drone and using a SD card reader, I installed them on the desktop folder that we just accessed. So we are importing the photos here. I'm not sure why it does it twice. You know, I clicked on it before and then it loaded them. Now it's importing them again. So we will figure that out as we go. All right, 2040. Now it's reconstructing. Let's just see how long it takes it to start the reconstruction. 1%. So I'm gonna pause now and not waste your time. Okay, we're at 93%. It's been roughly 10 minutes processing these 2,040 pictures. So we're getting really close to finishing here. Now one tip I did notice when I was in Ground Station Pro and getting ready to fly, you have to make sure all the settings are correct. Uh, and under RGB and multispectral, uh, there's one that is weighted. I'm trying to think of what its actual term is, but under multispectral, you want that box to be open and not checked. All right, so now we can go and check our NDVI or GNDVI of the field, the LCI, NDRE, NDVI. So you've got the different. Uh, settings there are pure RGB. So it did process the image under Terra. You can zoom down. This was at 128 feet. So I'm going to run, excuse me, I'm going to run the same pictures in Pix, uh, Pix4D fields and see what it looks like and how long it takes. Okay, I've got Pix4D fields loaded. I'm going to import the images. So I'll go to that same folder in my desktop. Called, and on this one, under this folder, you can see all the images. So I'll just go down and open those. And it's importing, scanning those files right now to bring them in. So we are running locally on this PC, we're not going to do any cloud processing on this. Okay, and I'm going to click apply and start processing. 
So we're already at 3%. It does it pretty quick. Now I haven't used PIX4D Fields, I, I have a trial version of it. I wanted to test it with the P4M, just kind of compare it to Terra. So I am not versed in this at all. I watched a quick video on uh, how to load some images and, and it was about a 20 minute video. So I do not know much about PIX4D Fields at this time. So I'm gonna pause it and when it's getting complete, I will stop. Start, start it again. All right, we're back. It hasn't been very long at all, and it's already at 96% stitching the images. So we'll wait as it completes it here. And it's creating, creating overviews. All right, and I believe you go, well, let's see what it's done here. You go up to well, and back up. So you can click on this index generator and then you can tell it which of the bands you want it to generate. So I'll say generate those. It'll generate those indices. And depending on how fast your computer is, uh, May take a little while, may not. So we're at 33% already on generating those indices. Sixty-seven. Here we go. Getting closer. Ninety nine, and we should be done. All right, now we've got our report, and you can click on the different indices and it will change it to that. So let's do a GNDVI. And I'll go back over to Terra. Let's see the GDNVI compared. There is some difference. You can see a little difference in, in the models. I'm not sure why there's a difference, but there is. So we'll go to LCI. A difference in DVI that just kind of compares the two so I'm gonna have to do a little more research on why there's a difference in uh, in the indices and how they look from one software to another but uh, so far so good that is how we upload both uh, to both Terra and Pix4D fields hope that helps if you got any questions give me a call at Arkansas Drone Solutions if you're ready to purchase an P4 multi-spectrum